Hello guys, welcome back to JS Graphics. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to create a 3D test effect using Pixelab. In this video, I've also included POP file to this design. So if you're interested in the POP file, you can um, head to the description and get the POP file. So the first thing to do is to type in your test. So I'll head to A and then click on Edit. So I, you can edit to any test of your choice here, but I'll just maintain this test. So I'll maintain just this default test. So the next thing I will do now is to head to AD and change my font. After this, I will increase this using the size to So looking at this test now, some parts, some edges of the test is not showing. To make it show completely, you use the paddling tool. So I'll click on paddling and then the right paddling, I'll increase it. So after I'm done doing this, I will position this at the center using relative position. So I'll click on this. So. I'm clicking on this and then this so you click on both to get both at the center to, to get both the horizontal and the vertical centers to be equal so after clicking on both you can lock this if you want and then change the color of this to this color or any other color of your choice and then after doing this you copy this and then keep it so i will hide this for now and then i'll head to this so here i will emboss this now so i'll click on emboss so i will enable this and then i'll reduce the bevel level to one and increase the hardness the ambient length and the intensity so I will rotate this light angle now to 282 or 285. So guys, after doing this, I will head to this layer icon. This layer icon, this is the layer. And then I will unlock this, I will make this visible. So I will click on this and then head to this to the test tool and click on relative position and then align it both horizontally and vertically by clicking this both of them just like we did earlier and this time around i'll move it to the back by using to the back icon and then increase the stroke so i'll change this default color to white and then increase it to 12. Okay, 15 should be okay. So the next thing I'll do now is to go back to the layer and choose the other layer now. And then head to shadow and enable the shadow. I'll reduce the blur radius. To two and then in enable the offsets of y axis so once this is done now the next thing to do is to head to this other layer that's the layer at the back and copy this and then use the relative position to position this at the center and then click to the back icon to move it to the back so this time around you head to stroke and disable the stroke and then head to the position um relative position and position this at the center again make sure is at the center 
so the next thing I will do now so I'll head to 3d and enable the 3d so I will enable this now and click on oblige and reduce the depth level to 7 and then I will rotate this to an angle of 280 something degrees to 285 degrees after this now I will go back to this depth color and choose color and choose gradient and then without clicking any color here I will just click the plus icon and then at default the color is here So I will just click on this now, this icon. So I'll click on this and then click on this icon to type in a color. So I'll click on this and erase this to this color code. And then I'll go back and click on this and this automatically changes the color to the color code which is orange after this now I'll head back to this so sorry I will click on this now I'll click on this now and then click on this so that's what I'll do now this first and then this so I'll click here and then here to change my color so I will change this to to yellow so now I will change my pattern by clicking any of this so I will just choose any of this to get a pattern alright so I will click this now I think I will go with this pattern so let's see our depths so the next I will do is to click on that same layer and head back to that 3D and increase this to 7 and reduce the dark level to 6 and then the light angle so let's leave this as 355 so after this now we we'll head to this icon and choose this color to change our background so I'll click on color and change this to white so the next thing we have to do now is to go back to the last layer which is this so I'll click on this and click on this test icon and click on shadow so shadow And then I'll bring this down a bit and reduce the dark the opacity. So now I'll click on the first test now, which is this. So I'll click sorry, the playlist. I'll click on this now. So I'll head to 3D and enable this. And then the depth, I'll choose oblique now. And reduce the depth one and rotate the oblique angle to the same angle 285 and now I'll choose color and use the same color so I'll go back to shadow now and reduce the Y offsets So I'll leave it at 2 and from here you can save this by clicking on this and saving as image so guys subscribe and turn on the notification icon for more videos thanks for watching and see you guys next time